Hi, I'm Frank the Pest Geek, host of the Pest Geek Podcast, and welcome to the Pest Geek Academy. We're going to be doing a lesson on pest control history. So we're looking at a little bit of chemistry, a little bit of law, and a little bit of history. And it's an introductory course to pest control. Whatever we cover in this particular lesson, we're going to cover it extensively in individual lessons. So understand that this is only an overview. So let's go ahead and get into the lesson. All right, so looking at pest control history, uh, we have been using pesticides in one way or another for several thousand years, okay? We don't know exactly how long, but it's been a long time. Going back to the 12th century BC, the Egyptians have recorded using hemlock. That is a picture of the hemlock plant. And if you've read history before, you would have read hemlock poisoning. Well, that's because that little plant is highly poisonous and it was used to control insects and other pests, including rodents. All right, so now going all the way to the 8th century uh, BC, we have Homer here that writes in the Odyssey, okay, how Odysseus had every room fumigated with smoke, fire, and sulfur, okay? Now, we know from pest control history, much more recent history, that the sulfur is still used in farming and in agriculture and in pesticides. And going back to the building of the Panama Canal and before the Panama Canal in Cuba during the Spanish-American War where soldiers were dying from yellow fever, it was later discovered right at the turn of the century that you could control mosquitoes that were causing yellow fever by applying sulfur. And during the building of the Panama Canal, sulfur was extensively used to control mosquito populations along with integrated pest management to be able to control mosquitoes so that they could complete the building of the Panama Canal. So that's just a little tidbit of history there. Now, more recent history is pyrethrum or pyrethrins, which were originally introduced or patented in the U.S. in 1884. It's still used today extensively for the controls of fleas and mosquitoes and ticks and other insects. That little flower, known as the chrysanthemum flower, is where we get pyrethrum from, okay? So this is still in use today, and as a pest control professional, you will encounter the use of pyrethrum and pyrethrins in a lot of the products that are made. Now, that little container right there is a little container of DDT, originally introduced or used in the U.S., registered in 1945, right after the war. During World War II, it was extensively used to control mosquitoes and to control body lice on soldiers. It was actually applied to people's bodies to control lice because remember, they were in places of the world that they hadn't been used to being and there were all kinds of plagues that they were battling. And that little container also includes, I believe it includes pyrethrum in it and I believe it includes another product. I'm trying to look at it. Yeah, chloridane. It included chloridane. So that's a little tiny, about that big. And I don't know exactly what country that one's from, but that is what DDT, and it was later banned in the 70s uh, because of all the environmental hazards that we were dealing with with DDT. So that's just a little brief history of, of chemistry there. So you kind of see that it's been used a long time. 